Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss how to apply quadratic equations and inequations in one variable to solve problem. Now using quadratic equation, let us see the following illustration. Now, lava coming from the eruption of volcano follows a parabolic path. The height h in feet of a piece of lava t seconds after it is ejected from the volcano is given by h of t is equal to minus t square plus 16t plus 936. Now we have to find after how many seconds does the lava reach height of 1000 feet. Now let us start with its solution. Now here we are given parabolic path of eruption which is a quadratic equation where height h is a function of time t. Let this be equation 1. Now we have to find time t when height h is 1000 feet. So let us put h is equal to 1000 in equation 1. So here we have 1000 is equal to minus t square plus 16t plus 936. Now let us subtract 936 from both sides. So this would be 1000 minus 936 is equal to minus t square plus 16t plus 936 minus 936. Now simplifying further this will be now 1000 minus 936 is 64 is equal to minus t square plus 16t. Now subtract 64 from both sides of this equation. So it will be 64 minus 64 is equal to minus t square plus 16t minus 64. This further implies 0 is equal to minus t square plus 16t minus 64. Now multiplying by minus 1 on both sides, we have minus 1 into 0 is equal to minus 1 into minus t square plus 16t minus 64 the whole. And this implies 0 is equal to t square minus 16t plus 64 or we can write it as t square minus 16t plus 64 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation in t. So let us factorize it. By splitting the middle term this implies t square minus 8t minus 8t plus 64 is equal to 0 and this further implies t into t minus 8 the whole minus 8 into t minus 8 the whole is equal to 0 which further implies t minus 8 the whole into t minus 8 the whole is equal to 0. So either t minus 8 is equal to 0 or t minus 8 is equal to 0 which implies t is equal to 8 or t is equal to 8. So in both these cases we are getting t is equal to 8. Thus t is equal to 8 seconds. So it reaches height of 1000 feet in 8 seconds. Now many times we use quadratic inequalities or quadratic equations 
in solving the real life problems which are related to find profit loss maximum height and minimum height of an object etc now we can find the solution of quadratic inequalities graphically as well as algebraically now here we will discuss to find the solution algebraically now let us see an example and here calculating daily profit p in dollars for selling x magazine subscriptions is determined by the formula p is equal to minus x square plus 80x minus 1500 and here we have to find that for what values of x is her profit positive now let us start with its solution now here we want to find values of x for which profit that is a function of x given by p of x is positive now we know that any value is positive if it is strictly greater than 0 So here, P of x is positive if P of x is greater than zero. Now here, profit P of x is determined by the equation minus x square plus 80x minus 1500. Now P of x is positive if P of x is greater than zero. So here, P of x is positive if minus x square plus 80x minus 1500 is greater than zero. And this is a quadratic inequality. Now to find its solution, we will follow three steps. In the first step, we write its related equation, and its related equation will be minus x square plus 80x minus 1500 is equal to zero. Now, in second step, we solve this quadratic equation for suitable values of x. Which will give us the set of intervals which represents the solution of the inequality. Now let us see equation number two. First of all, we make coefficient of x square positive. For this, we multiply this equation number two by minus one. on both sides and it will be minus 1 into minus x square plus 80x minus 1500 the whole is equal to minus 1 into 0 which implies x square minus 80x plus 1500 is equal to 0 Now let us factorize this quadratic equation in x by splitting the middle term. So this implies x square minus 30x minus 50x plus 1500, which is equal to zero, which further implies x into x minus 30 the whole. Minus 50 into x minus 30 the whole is equal to zero. And this implies x minus 30 the whole into x minus 50 the whole is equal to zero. Now either x minus 30 is equal to zero or x minus 50 is equal to zero, which implies either x is equal to 30 or x is equal to 50. So. 
वी हैव कॉट एक्स इज इक्वल टू थर्टी और एक्स इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी टेस्ट फॉर एनी वैल्यू फ्रॉम द गिवन इंटरवल्स एंड वी चेक which value satisfies the given inequality for this we will plot these critical points which we have obtained in step 2 on the number line now here we have got x is equal to 30 and x is equal to 50 now here you can see that the points x is equal to 30 and x is equal to 50 divide the number line in three parts now in first part that is the spin shaded portion we have interval x is less than 30 the second part gives us the interval 30 is less than x is less than 50 That is this yellow shaded portion, and the third part gives us interval x is greater than 50. That is this green shaded portion. Now we check each interval which satisfies the given inequality. First of all, we consider the interval x is less than 30. it means all those values on the number line that are less than 30 so let us take any point in this interval let it be x is equal to 29 which is less than 30 now let us put this value in inequality minus x square plus 80x minus 1500 is greater than 0 so this will be minus of 29 square plus 80 into 29 minus 1500 is greater than 0 this implies now minus of 29 square now 29 square is 841 plus 80 into 29 is 2320 Minus 1500 is greater than zero. Now minus 841 minus 1500 is minus 2341 plus 2320 is greater than zero. And this further implies minus 21 is greater than zero, which is false. As minus 21 is less than zero, thus this interval is not the solution of the given inequality. Now let us take the second interval. That is, 30 is less than x is less than 50. It means the values that are between 30 and 50. So here, let us take x is equal to 40. That lies in this interval. Now let us put this in given inequality. So we have minus of 40 square plus 80 into 40 minus 1500 is greater than zero, and this implies minus 1600 plus 3200 minus 1500 is greater than 0 which implies minus 3100 plus 3200 is greater than 0 and this gives 100 is greater than 0 which is true this means this interval is the solution set of the given inequality now lastly we have the third interval that is x is greater than 50 it means all the values
values that are greater than 50. So let us take x is equal to 51. Now let us put this value in the given inequality. So we have minus of 51 square plus 80 into 51 minus 1500 is greater than 0. This implies minus 2601 plus 4080 minus 1500 is greater than 0. This further implies minus 4101 plus 4080 is greater than 0. Which further implies minus 21 is greater than 0 which is false. Thus, this interval is not the solution set of the given inequality. Thus, solution set is interval 30 is less than x is less than 50 or we can say x belongs to the open interval 30, 50 and solution set is a set of all x such that 30 is less than x is less than 50. Thus, Catherine's profit is positive that is P of x is greater than 0 if 30 is less than x is less than 50. That means if x lies between 30 and 50. So in this session, we have discussed how to apply quadratic equations and inequations in one variable to solve real life problems. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.